Okay. Hello, this is Tans Blue, and welcome back to Shovel Knight. I've set myself to offline mode, which will hopefully prevent people from, you know, will, will hopefully stop Steam from showing whenever people log in. We cannot pass this village! It must be the next dungeon! Except not really. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, ha! That's no weapon! It's just a shovel! You may enter, and don't forget. Yep, that's the plan. Hello, horseman! Fishing, you say? Sounds interesting. I'll talk to you in a minute. I do? If you say so. Uh, I'll talk to you if I have any money left. Uh, yes I did, actually. Fishing Rod is OP, I'll talk about it later. Oh, ye of little faith. Damn straight. Hello, my lady. Whew, these bucks are heavy. And now they're even heavier. Shovel Knight, many trials await you! Don't despair, may each defeat strengthen your resolve! I'm not gonna get defeated, dude. Well... I might get defeated. Ah, uh, I guess it depends what you mean by defeated, really. Throw the travel. Fraka is the best. <laughs> he just says all the puns. I'm not gonna subject you to all of those, though. Yes, please. Give me... Give me your trouble chalices! And also, you can tell me who the trouble king is, but after I've, after I've bought your merc. Who? You've never heard of the trouble king? Half trout, half apple! Pronounced like mouthful. Trouble. He's one of the Force Gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth! If you ever visit the Sacred Grotto, hold your child's aloft, and the Trouble King will appear! King of Fruit and Fish, long may his stem grow. Uh, I don't have quite enough money to talk to Chester yet. Ah, a new face! Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats, everyone's welcome here! If someone could defeat them, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure! Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule of a Milone Barnstool. King Knight sits on Pridemore's throne, that gilded goon! He'll get his soon! Double, double, troil and trouble! Soil and shovel. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Damn straight. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch! <laughs> I guess I need to break the door open, yeah. Hello, Mona. Okay. I'll pay. Oh. Oh, uh, well. Off to a great start here. That eh, doesn't matter. Missing missing one or two potions really doesn't matter. I don't even remember how many points I need to get on this, actually. Oh, well. Like, I'll get enough. It might even be just a hundred, actually.
Well, that's 200, so... It was enough! Okay! Don't want to talk to you... yet. Hey, old traveler! I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem! I've lost all my music sheets! My entire repertoire! Lay skater across the land. I don't know what is up with my pronunciation. Ah, <laughs> whatever. If you've ever found a music sheet, return to me, and I shall reward you handsomely! Damn straight. Give me the money! Like I had some fine musical taste, she was studied composition! What? Then I suppose I'd be the one with the rival. You can talk to him to listen to any of the BGMs that you have gone to give him the sheet for. Which, well, is limited right now, but eh. More importantly, he gives you money for each one. Allowing me to afford the most OP item in the game. One of them, anyway, and also this thing. Seriously, though, Fishing Rod is OP. I'll talk about that when I get into the level. When I'm actually doing some fishing. Ah, uh, right. One of me old tickets, please. Each meal increases your HP by one. I think there's three of them? Mm, maybe four, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's three. Well, we have to take a detour to the travel pond. Hello, good king Tropel. Tropel. Yes. Hey, to me! Magical Ikor. Ikor? Sure. Whatever. I'm gonna shamelessly use this for E-Tanks. <laughs> now, the Invincible one does have limited use, but I'm pretty sure the Treasure Collecting one is useless. Uh, I cannot think of a single time I've ever used anything other than the HP healing. To be blunt. <laughs> Tropical King knows how to dance. Obviously, he's practiced a lot. Um. Oh, okay. Fare thee well, Shovel the Knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Okay, but first. WHAT DO YOU THINK YOU'RE DOING, MORTAL?! <laughs> he really doesn't like it when you do that. But you get a note for it. As long as I'm here, let's use something else that's funny. I don't care. Do not sully our waters with thy filthy body! Next time, I won't be so merciful. That actually counts as dying, by the way. I had a no-death run ruined by doing that once. <laughs> Ah, anyway, on to the level of King Knight. I'm already ten minutes in. Uh, they're gonna get shorter after this, probably. Takes a while to go through the village the first time through, right? Aha! And 
even more money. But here's the thing. This is not all you can do with the fishing rod. You can use fishing rod on sparkling spots. You'll get either goldfish or occasionally notes or sometimes, um, or sometimes tropals that can fill up an ichor chalice. But you can fish literally anywhere. The fishing hook damages enemies, it collects treasure, and if you go off the side, you can catch regular fish. And catching regular fish is really important, because it heals you. Regular fish do, that is. Um, which, if you're playing a New Game Plus, like hard mode, then that's pretty much your only source of healing. Because most things that heal you are replaced with bombs in hard mode. And similarly, if you're doing a no death run, that's really important for more obvious reasons. I think this is a tropal. Oh no, it's a goldfish. Okay. But even if all you do it for or is use it for is a gold spot. It still pays for itself really quickly. Always buy the fishing rod. It is OP. It, like, legitimately, um, the Tropal Chalices are probably stronger, and there is one other item that is arguably not even better so much as, well, it depends what you mean by better, really. Bounce. Because there's one other item that is uh, probably the my number one item, simply because it makes you way more mobile. But in terms of utility and survivability both, simply nothing beats the fishing rod. These guys. Oh, well, I'm bad. Get out of here. I've been too aggressive. Well, you're dead now. Ah. Oh yeah! Incidentally, I sort of glossed over this before, but you can break these and you get treasure. Uh, I won't be breaking all of them, because... There are some places where I w will legitimately probably die. King's Night Stage is not one of those places. <laughs> oh, well, I screwed up. Uh, I might be able to get up there by jumping on this bug. Nope. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Oh, you know what? That was actually one of the ones I should have kept. Because I need to go over here. Uh, nope. Bad timing. Okay, made it. I don't think I've ever even died on that jump, but it always makes me nervous. Hello, Chester! In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals! You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest! Yes, I do! Give me! I'll never- well, actually, no, I might use this. This is one of the more useful items I- well... Is that true? I mean, it's useful if you want to go all out on magic, I guess. So, here's how this works. If you don't find Chester, or if you can't afford it, he will bring the items he finds back to the village. But it costs you a lot more treasure to buy his items in the village than it does in the field. So, if possible, you want to find, find and buy his stuff in the levels that he finds them in. Man, this actually really bothers me. <laughs> Like, probably more than it should. Oh, well. 
Okay, that was just stupid. That was me trying to show off and failing. Okay, this time I'm not gonna do the thing I did. Okay, yeah, right there. I had a practice for this where I did just this level and the tutorial level. Just to sort of warm myself up to Shovel Knight. I did that a couple days ago. Um, and I totally screwed up coming to this part. Although I had thought there was a note up here, and I guess not, so it wasn't as big a, a fail as I thought. It still felt pretty bad, though. So, yeah. There's a griffin. We'll talk about the griffin in a minute. Still nothing I need for... I need a save point for. Like, seriously, I'm probably gonna die, but I'm not gonna die on this level. I can bounce on this griffin's head, but I can't hurt its head, and I want to kill it. Oh, well. I swear, if I die after saying that I'm not gonna die, I'll, I'll be I'll be a little bit upset with myself. Uh, I will actually keep this one. Oh. Well. You see, this is what I get for running my mouth. I say I'm not gonna die, and then I imme almost immediately kill myself. Uh, doing something really fucking stupid, too. Like, there was no excuse there. I knew that would happen, but I did it anyway. Uh, nope. I need you a little bit lower. A little bit... No, a little bit further down. Okay! Regular treasure. Well, still worth having. In the interest of saving time, I want to collect as much treasure as possible, so I need to make fewer overall trips to different towns. Incidentally, worth mentioning, because I did gloss over it a little bit, uh, if I die and I smash a save point, then I'm going back to whatever the last save point, save point was that I did not smash, including going to the start of the level. <laughs> Bit of risk and reward there, right? It's actually pretty well designed, I think. It rewards you for taking risks uh, in a fairly manageable way. Oh, well, there we are. Uh, gonna keep that one as well. Because... Not because the next part is hard so much as it's an area where it's really easy for me to kill myself by doing something stupid. And you know, having stupidity insurance, I think, is a good thing. Uh, okay, that is definitely a troll So, don't need a fish there. 
Okay. Wait for it, and there we are. I think... Nope, that's the apple. Okay. So what's behind this one? Oh, it's a turf... Wait, really? I thought one of these was supposed to be a bomb. Huh. Well, whatever. I could also use my wand to shoot the griffin in the head, but that that would maybe be a little bit faster, but only like a tiny little bit. Well, don't need to save against King Knight. Ha! An interloper is in our midst. Midst. Be gone from our throne, knave! I'm no more intruder than you! You aren't even a real king! Oh, but you're mistaking. Mistaking? Mistaken. The Enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me! You're not but a decadent dandy, King Knight! Prepare to taste justice! Shovel justice! Oh, well, there goes my perfect run. Yeah, because I haven't taken any damage on the stage, right? This is actually the stage that I did my no damage run on. So, <laughs> it's really the only choice. King Knight is a pushover and has very easily memorized patterns. Which isn't stopping me from taking damage, but, well, it's all relative. <coughs> And that was King Knight's stage. Remember fire safety. Okay, this is Bean Shovel Knight. Join me next week for a spooky episode. Uh, well, I just said the name is Shovel Knight. If only I could crouch. Bye!